good morning. I am inviting anyone around from the Global Frequency Movement to join me. This is the second day of the summit and I have listened to the previous speakers. They are amazing. And uh, I thank all of you for being here and also encourage you to share this message with anyone that you, you can. Um, the team today is uh, learning from our ancestors. I have, uh, I've been thinking about it, this subject. And I said, learning about from our ancestors, what does that mean? You all know already, this is, this is something we all share, our root, where we come from. So I am very delighted to be here. My name is Moira Livell. I am a mindset and wellness therapist. I live in the U.S. Uh, you all know that we celebrate yesterday Thanksgiving. So what is a great, what a great moment right now to share this uh, with all of you. I am also a licensed mental health counselor and uh, a board certified functional medicine um, counselor as well. I'm a life coach, a wealth coach, life, health, you name it. I'm an author of two best-selling books and also energy healer. I had the privilege to meet with so many people through the connection through my beautiful Healy. And right now it's such a great time to own a Healy. So if you don't have it yet, I'm encouraging you to just go and find someone you can connect with to have it. If you think maybe you want to have one, it's a great time because we are running right now a great discount and, uh, you can own a Healy at a fraction of a cost. So I'm encouraging you to go and do that. The Today for me, talking about our ancestor, it's going to our wood. It's going to gratitude since we celebrate yesterday, Thanksgiving. And I was able to go deeper and say, what are our ancestors mean to us? For me, it encompasses so many aspects of my emotion, my spiritual connection, and my physical well-being as well. Because the moment that I know where I come from, I'm able to own who I am. And an attitude of gratitude also will take me to a new altitude. A new altitude, I can get that with my Healy through the frequency, different frequency that I am able to align myself to get into a place of well-being, of wellness, of where I feel like I am okay. You know, I don't have to fight anymore because I have something that can help me move and shift my, uh, my mood, actually, my well-being, it's actually in connection with my beautiful Healy. I'm very honored to, to have that. So a legacy is something we pass on. And in our ancestors work hard, work hard enough to pass on to us what we really have right now and what we are enjoying. And, and I think it's such a great time to talk about who you who, who do you connect with where do you stand what you are feeding your root 
And what are you willing to put in application based on the learning of all your ancestors? All our ancestors work hard to give us what we have right now. It's up to us to refine tune it, to just develop it, and to make it even better. Perhaps you ask yourself questions. Am I able to do that? How do I do that? No matter what the decision you are making right now, you owe it to yourself and to your past to understand you and make better connection with life, the life force around you. I, at a young age, most of us have dream about how do we really connect with our parents. But our parents also did that with their parents. We are passed on from generation to generation, uh, well-being, trauma, stress, anxiety, a lot. However, we are so minded of what we have in front of us. Sometimes we tend to lose sight of the big picture. This week, these three days, these three days of summit remind me how do I connect with a higher power, with a higher con consciousness, with a bigger part of myself, with my root will have me grow in different dimension. So this is an opportunity for you to say, how do I own who I am? The lesson that I am really taught or I have been taught, am I putting it in application? You know, you can go to school all your life. You can learn all you want unless you, unless you put in application what you have learned. I don't think it works a lot because the applicability of your learning, it's what makes a difference. So to not bore you too much today, I want you to be aware that it doesn't matter what we do in this life. We owe it to our ancestors to connect deeper and to put some work into our learning, into our lesson learned from the past. Many of you probably think, ancestors, you probably have a lot of different connotation in your brain, in your mind. You are talking about ancestors. Is it that part of cultural side? Is it that part of... Um, what you can see. But I think this week, this weekend, it's an opportunity to connect with the bigger, broader part of yourself. So in learning about my ancestors, I discover myself. In learning about my ancestors, I am able to make decisions that connect me deeper with a higher part of me. Don't underestimate your past because it actually carry on to shape your future. So today it's an opportunity for you to say, what are the effort that I have to do to understand me better? Whether emotional, physical or spiritual and in order for you to understand the next generation or the uh, the next generation to understand you you have to understand your past where you come from and the legacy you are about to leave what do you really connect with to leave something bigger, bold, bolder, 
stronger than you left, you saw it, or you received it. So, I found this poem from Galena, and I wanted to share this with you. It's from Galena Kraskova, and I think this verbalized every single thought that I have for you about learning from your ancestors. I cannot help it to hell to those who have passed through the veil from life to death to earth from breath. Hell to those who suffered to gift me with blood and hell to those who suffered, who survived to gift me with body. Hell to those who song gift me inspiration. Hell to those whom I love in life was memory I carry with me like a word of comfort. Hell to those who left this land long ago, whose name I honor like a word of hope. Or if I know not their names, was life. I honor still. I live in love because you live in love. I speak and struggle because you spoke and struggle. You live in me as I live, as I will live in those who love after me. Grant me the patience. Oh, my beloved death, to see the long view and remember that what I do now affects million, million soul I will never know. I'm inviting you to carve your name on heart. Let the legacy of our ancestors inspire and share and grab your attention. Share the stories with pride because they leave something we can build upon. Let's connect to the soul of our ancestors. Because today, you have so much to be blessed and to be grateful for. Learning from your ancestors, learning from our ancestors, must help us connect with something. Something that we, our hand will touch that will inspire others. Something to carry on in our deep soul. People can look after when we leave this earth and say, yes, we were here. You, you were there. We must change something from the way it was before into something that is more like us. 
So this is an opportunity for you today. To be not only grateful. Maybe to just look inside of you. And then say. Our ancestors taught us a lot. Maybe they were wiser than us. Maybe they were more connected to the true force of nature or to the true nature, to the root. Maybe they believe in the powerful force of nature. Maybe they didn't see to believe. Maybe they knew that was something better, bigger than their own body and their existence on earth. But one thing for sure I can tell you they point us toward the essential. our essence in humanity. So I'm inviting you today, when listening, whenever you listen to this message, to this talk, to share it. Share it to understand, to help people understand they are not just this physical body. They are this physical body having an experience right here on earth and then to let to connect let themselves connect with the deepest 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 part of themselves and explore further there's nothing more powerful than understand where you come from and what you are up to so no matter what, no matter what you're going through right now, there is a reason for that. No matter what's going on in your life right now, understand everything has been written already for you. Learning from your ancestors, learning the lesson you need to learn from your ancestors will help you grow, will help you understand the bigger side of you, your bigger purpose on earth. Let's stay connected with each other. Let's apply our learning to know we have something to share with human between human and human. We have something to share in a way that other people can be inspired. We are lucky. To have Marcus bring to the world the healing. Because your anxiety from your past, your lack of understanding in a higher consciousness can be somehow resolved by understanding better your frequency and what you resonate with. And that's what the application of the healing. That's what the, the understanding of the healing. I am just in bliss to know with this, I can make changes in my life at a higher consciousness that I don't have to fight for. 
I can't do this. Because Healy will show you the way. <laughs> and you don't even have to know the way. You just have to trust. Because your intention does matter. Go and share this knowledge with people. Don't keep it for you. Many people are looking for you to understand themselves. So take care of yourself and take the opportunity to go dig deeper in your own ancestral background. Learn the lesson and apply them. And be proud of where you're coming from. Don't take the good and leave the bad. Take the good and understanding the tragedy of the bad and how you are carrying on some of those in your own life. And then that will make you build you stronger and be more inspired to understand if they went through this to leave this for me for a generation to come I owe it to them to grow from here so thank you so much for your attention to this live thank you so much for inviting me to be here I'm so honored I hope this week this summit during this weekend provides you the opportunity to go dig deeper and realize we are all, all this interconnection where we all depend on each other. Nothing, nobody going to make it for you. Your legacy is something you will work on. It's something your future generation will benefit from. Thank you so much. Enjoy your holidays and celebrate with all your ancestors. The spirit shall live with you now. And for many generations to come. Take care. Have a great day. Have a great night. Wherever you are, wherever you are listening. Take care. Good night. Bye-bye. Goodbye.